Hey everyone, uh, welcome back to the channel. Today we are diving into something extremely exciting, the transformer architecture, uh, which is the core technology behind modern AI models like GPT, Llama, Claude, Gemini, and many others. Uh, now, before uh, we jump straight into uh, the transformer architecture, we need to understand why it is invented in the first place. So in this video, we are going to follow a very simple story. First, we will look at how neural networks work. Um, then uh, we will understand why recurrent neural networks, what we call RNNs, were introduced to handle sequences. And we will see the limitations of uh, RNNs. And finally, we will land on the transformer architecture. And I'll explain it in the simplest way possible using uh, different images uh, throughout the video. So let's get started. Um, so to understand the transformer architecture, like I discussed, uh, we need to first understand what is machine learning. Hope you all know what machine learning is, uh, like the name suggests, right? Machine learning is the subfield of artificial intelligence. So we need to understand that My, uh, artificial intelligence is a very big ocean. So in that, if you go a little bit below, uh, you will find machine learning and then under machine learning, you will see deep learning and in that you will see generative AI, GPT models and all. So that's how different layers uh, are there in the uh, whole AI spectrum. So machine learning is Again, the subfield of artificial intelligence that focuses on helping machines, or you can call computers, learn from data and improve over time without being explicitly programmed. So uh, we don't program anything here. We give data, and through data, computers try to learn the patterns, right? So one simple explanation can be like in traditional software, um, programmers write rules in a hard-coded format, right? And then the computers follow those rules. But machine learning works differently. Like I said, we provide data, and computers or the machines find patterns in the data, and then they make predictions and decisions based on their patterns. So instead of telling the computer how to do something, we give it examples through data and we let them learn by themselves. So again, one more example is like, you want a system to recognize cat's images in a lot of images, right? And then without machine learning, you need to, your programmers need to hard code everything, every feature of the cat, how it looks, uh, all the features, like if it has whiskers, if the ears are pointed, if first look, if the fur looks like this, it eats this, that. So this is extremely hard and breaks easily. Whereas with machine learning, you show, we all show the system or the machines, thousands of cat images and non-cat images. The model learns through the patterns and uh, that represent a cat. And then at the end, if you show the machine, um, the cat image, and if you ask, hey, tell me, is this the cat image? And it will easily recognize and tell that, yes, it's a cat image. So in the machine learning, again, there are three uh, key types of machine learning. One is supervised learning. The other one is unsupervised learning. And the third one is reinforcement learning. So supervised learning is like, you know, the machines learn from labeled examples here, like predict house prices from past data. So every data is labeled like we saw in the cat uh, example, right? So there is an image of the cat and there's a tag or the label named cat. So, and then there is unsupervised learning where the machines find patterns in the unlabeled data. So the label, the, the data is not labeled here. And they feel like, and an example can be like group customers by behavior, right? Sentiment analysis. And you might also see on Amazon, like people who bought this also bought that. So that's how the unsupervised learning basically works. And then comes the reinforcement learning where the machines learn by trial and error reward method. It's like AI playing uh, chess or self-driving cars. So that's about the uh, machine learning part. And uh, and uh, let's go a little bit deeper um, in the machine learning. There comes what we call deep learning. 